everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golf to Magazine. I'm here at the 2016 Golf Industry Show, and I'm being joined by Carmen Magro. He is with the uh, Vice President of Stevens Water. Yes. But more important, I want to talk to you about Pogo, because I've been by your booth a couple times. You guys came out to the Gulfton Summit, and it sounds like you guys got lightning in a bottle, or maybe lightning in a stick here. Uh, talk to me about this show and about Pogo. Well, this show, everybody knows, in the turf industry. Uh, if you're not here, then you're not in the turf industry. <laughs> But uh, the Pogo is, is really many years in the making. Um, we've always had this idea in the industry of trying to put numbers to things that we see. Uh, we react to symptoms of, as turf grass managers. I was certified uh, with the GCSA um, in the Mid-Atlantic in the late 90s, and um, we've come a very long way since then. But, but I can remember having spots on my course, seeing ailments, seeing deteriorating turf, and, and just trying to understand what was causing that to happen? Well, if you fast track the last 10 or 12 years, uh, we've, we've advanced technology so rapidly and so soundly that the, uh, any superintendent or turf manager out there now can carry uh, a POGO device and have analysis done right before your eyes that would have otherwise taken lab reports and, and consultants and, and, and many, many days to kind of figure out so, uh, so Pogo is really the uh, culmination of um, uh, many years of, of uh, technology brought down to a level where it's very simple to use, it's very simple to understand, and it's powerful for making better decisions in turf grass management. What is it that makes it different? Because there's other, there's other soil moisture monitoring devices, but you know, I know there's obviously there's a GPS element, there's different. Uh, brag about it for me. Yeah, brag about it. So, um, yeah, sure, there's lots of equipment out there where we can monitor one thing here, one thing there, another thing here, but you gotta put all that together to really understand, understand what it means. And the POGO is much more than just moisture. You call it a moisture meter. Um, many things affect the turf grass quality and how turf grass performs. Uh, for instance, EC, uh, or salinity, is a huge factor in how we manage our fertility program, but it also affects the performance of the turf grass. They don't necessarily always go hand in hand, moisture and EC, but even if you don't have a salt problem, or um, EC is important because any time we fertilize, we're essentially managing EC. We're, we're, we're managing that salinity release to the turf to cause a response that we're looking for. Um, also temperature, a lot of people have measured air temperature, have measured soil temperature, but the temperature that really affects turf grass performance is the canopy temperature. That's a direct indicator of temperature stress. So when you measure these three th things together, not having to calibrate uh, is important, uh, but when you measure these three things together with GPS precision so you know where you've taken these readings, you have the power of understanding the three most influential variables on turf grass performance. Uh, moisture, uh, salinity, and temperature together. And with those three variables, we can determine a lot about the trend toward or away from a problem developing. We could essentially see things like black layer forming before black layer actually shows up because you'll see that air and water exchange going the wrong direction before you see that symptom. That symptom that I used to manage as a superintendent, we can see that symptom coming before it actually shows up on the golf course. and that. That's a big deal for turf grass management, in my opinion. Good. Well, it's always fun to see these new technologies come along, and this one's clearly, uh, I can tell by the, the traffic that you're getting, the traffic that you got, you guys got the Gulfton Summit. Uh, this is going to be fun to watch and see where it goes next. Yeah, so. we're, we're really excited about it. Okay. So. And, and I'm happy to tell you that uh, you can actually, well, we uh, wrote up uh, a little piece on it in the uh, March issue of the magazine. So check out the March issue, which will be uh, in mailboxes soon. Great. And we'll keep up with you guys. Okay. Can I tell you one more thing? Yeah, please. Yeah, one more thing. So. Uh, a lot of superintendents, we, we realize we have very little time to get on the computer and do analysis and do that sort of thing. So one of the big things we did at this year's show is we released our mobile reports uh, feature with the system. Now a user, instead of having to go to the computer, they upload their data and the mobile visual analysis reports come right back to your phone. So you can analyze these conditions while you're on the green. It's, it's really uh, been driven by superintendents' feedback. So we're proud to say it's a tool that's been uh, influenced by superintendents and it's being honed in by superintendents. Very good. So we're excited Very about that. Okay. Yeah. Carmen, thanks a bunch Thank for you. coming by. I look forward to seeing more. Uh, this is Carmen Magro, Stevens Watering, but check out that Pogo, okay? Thank you so much. You bet. Thanks for watching Golfton TV.